In part two, we're going to take a look at the arrival of the American Humane Association trailer and the arrival of the veterinary medical assistance team from FEMA. Hello. And this is the animal pig The first control. goal was to get water to the facility. We had a 23,000 gallon water tanker water. that had to pump water from that tanker to the Humane Association trailer so it could be heated and used within the trailer. Are you getting flow off of that? Yeah. Oh, that's in that valve? Because the valve in the back had a lot of flow on it, but this one I've heard it. We've got a sump pump. Oh, you put the pump in? Right into the bottom. Same yeah. way they're drawing out of theirs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, three quarter horse pump. So you have to just transfer as you need it though that way, right? Yeah. Veterinarians with the VMAT team did complete checks of the dogs post and pre operational periods. So, did you pick someone to work with you? Yeah. Who? Kathy. Okay, Kathy and Sue are going to work. All right. Um, do you want to, what do you want to work with you? Josh? We were very fortunate through the entire operation that all the injuries, both to canines, and to the staff members was very minor. Some minor treatments were done for the canines from scrapes and scratches. A number of people asked, well, I don't see uh, I don't see booties on the dog. Why didn't you have booties on there? Well, the boots actually cause the dogs to lose their tactile feel. Their claws don't become out so they can lose traction. A number of handlers did take vet wrap and vet wrap from halfway back through the paw, leaving the pad, coming up the back, and then coming up the legs to give the legs, the front uh, shin part of the canine's leg, some protection against impact into objects or metal. Some of the dogs did receive some antibiotics, and the vets also did pull blood samples that could be used for further studies after the incident. The rest of the, the overall video is about nine minutes. I'm going to let the rest of the video uh, run in its raw format. Um, I, I hope you'll uh, kind of see some of the interaction between the volunteers, uh, the VMAT staff, and the uh, Humane Society staff, um, and just get a feel for what everybody at the Fresh Kill Landfill site was dealing with for the uh, two weeks that we were there in total and about the last five or six days where we had the VMAT team and the American Humane Association trail. So I'll just let the rest of this run out. I thank you very much. And thanks to all the volunteers and everybody that participated. Actually, all the uh, 
And behind every good operation, there's always the people that are taking care of the paperwork, making the phone calls, and saying that things go correctly. Even if the stapler doesn't work, everything else went fairly smooth. Seemed to have a problem with one person, though. Weren't sure if he was here or if he wasn't here, but we did locate him eventually. Special thanks to Jody for all of her hard work that she did in the command post and the guys I know. from the American person. Humane Association Numbers. that brought in their trailer and provided such great for support there for us in the last out. five or six days of our operation. Oh, repair, I thought I was going to. Oh, bonus points. I swear this person exists. We were getting information from the FBI that, the, uh, that they were going to ask us to continue to provide support probably for an extended period of time because the dogs had been so very effective. But the wisdom of New York Emergency Management and other persons decided that a, co a conveyor belt system that would allow debris to be run through the conveyor belt would make it easier for their observers to watch and find pieces of human remains as they went past on the belt. So we were shut down on 29th. The day we were preparing to leave, we were actually asked to bring a dog over to the conveyor belt to check the bottom of the belt. Somebody thought they smelled something. The dog went over, indicated on the pile, and then found what looked to be a good portion of a person's leg. So the conveyor belt system was not truly that effective. Thank you for everybody that participated, all that supported us, and all the hard work, and hopefully we were able to bring home some of the victims from this tragedy.